going to do a battery life on standby test for these five GMRS radios. Actually, only these two are true GMS radios. This one, these, this is a ham, that's a ham, that's a business radio, but I'm using them all on GMRS. So this one is a Baofeng, probably the cheapest Baofeng you can get. It's a BF6668. They also make a triple eight, and I think it's exactly like this one. This one has a 1500 milliamp hour battery, but it's only 3.7 volts. It's only one cell. This is everybody's favorite, the Baofeng UB5R. It claims 1800 milliamp hour battery. It's a 2S, 7.4 volts. This is a Rocky Talkie 5 watt radio. It has an 1800 milliamp hour 2S battery. This is a Wuxin UV9D, and it has 20, 2200, I believe. Yeah, 2200. And then the Radtel is a GMRS radio. It's an RT493 is the model. This has a 2800 2S battery. So I'm just going to test them on standby. I might do a little bit of transmitting now and then, but if I do, I'll do the same amount of transmitting on every radio just so that it's fair. But usually, you know, a radio like this spends 99.9% .9 of its time on standby anyway. So standby is what's most important in my opinion. So here we go. Turn them all on. Power on. One. They're all, of course, fully charged. And I'll be checking on them periodically. Just with my experience with the Rocky Talkie, this test is probably going to take a week because it has a really long battery life. And this one has a pretty short battery life, but I haven't, I've never really quantified it accurately, so this will be the first for that. Right, it's been just 13 hours, but all the radios are still going strong. I'm going to key up this one over here. You can see they're all receiving. I'm going to keep going. It has been almost 24 hours, and they're all going strong except the Baofeng UV5R is dead. Here's a transmission. They're all receiving except for the Baofeng. And one interesting thing to note is the Rocky Talkie still shows 100%. It's been 34 hours and they're all going strong still except the UV5R. Here's a receive. The Rocky Talkie still shows 100%. The Woshin shows and then a little over half. At 43 hours, Please change this Baofeng started doing this. Please change battery. So, Please change calling battery. it for that one. And Please change still battery. receiving. Yes. Please change still battery. receiving, but that's too annoying to be usable. So this Baofeng got to 43 hours. Actually not too bad for the price of that radio. That radio is under $10. It's been 52 hours. Let's do a quick receive. The Rocky Talkie is still going strong at 95%. The Woshin is pretty low. It's showing, um, I'm gonna tap this, it's showing red. So it's probably going to die pretty soon. The Radtel is still showing full on its meter. Doesn't have a lot of resolution, only four bars. So it looks like it's going to be down to the Rocky Talkie and the Radtel here. 52 and a half hours, just a half hour since the last update, and the Woshan gave up the ghost. So now it's just down to Rocky Talkie shows 90%. Radtel shows still... 100%. It's been four days, 96 hours, and these two are still going strong. Still receiving. The Rocky Taki, 70% battery. And the Rad Tail shows, you know, three bars out of four. So, 75%. It's been five days, 120 hours with these two, and they're still going. 
They could still receive. The Rocky Talkies at 60%. The Rad Tail is down to its last bar. Can the Rad Tail still transmit on its last bar? Let me see. Yes, it can. And the Rocky Talkie, no problem. All right, we'll keep going. All right, this is the limit. It's been 122 hours, and the Rad Tail is beeping at me saying low battery, the Rocky Taki is at 55%. Will the Rad Tail transmit right now? Yeah, it is transmitting. And is it receiving? I'm gonna turn up the volume so I can hear it. Yeah, it is working for now, it's just beeping at me. All right, I'm gonna call, well, I'll leave it on and let it actually turn off. We'll see how long it goes. Um, and then I'm going to leave the Rocky Talkie on until it goes. All right, at 124 hours, the Rad Tail is dead. So I can go ahead and turn that one off. And then there was one. Rocky Talkie, let's say 55%. So I'll let that go and we'll see how long that one lasts. At least another day, I would think. Six days, 144 hours, the Rocky Talkie is at 40 percent seven days the rocky talkie shows 10 percent so it's dropped a lot in the last 24 hours and the battery gauge on on these radios don't seem to be very linear especially the the bow fangs and the um even the Woshin and the rad tail none of them are very linear including the Rocky Talkie, but the Rocky Talkie is by far the best on that. Uh, I'm going to see, so I, this is the rad tail next to it since it's been recharged. I'm going to see if the Rocky Talkie transmits, and it does. In the, in, in the manual, it says this will stop transmitting when it gets to 30%, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It's still transmitting and receiving too. So if... I think seven days is very impressive for a handheld battery, and I wouldn't really ask or want for anything more than that. And actually, this radio was on standby the entire time, but my friend and I, we talk on our radios on this channel, and so it's been receiving transmissions here and there, and my, I talked to my wife on the radio, and she picked this one up and was talking to me on it, so I had a few transmit sessions on it, too. I am also impressed with the battery life on this Rad Tail. It did, you know, almost as good as the Rocky Talkie for, you know, maybe one third, one fourth the price. So that's pretty good. I haven't really had a chance to review this. This is the Rad Tail RT493. I haven't used it much. I kind of just got it. So I don't really have any opinions on it yet, except it seems like the battery life is pretty good. So here it is five hours later. Seven days and five hours, which is 173 hours since being charged. It's been on, and the Rocky Talkie battery light is finally blinking. It's saying it's got five volts, and it does not transmit. I'm calling it for the Rocky Talkie. 173 hours.